Good evening and welcome to 7 News. Fortress WA and the lack of COVID cases has delivered the nation's biggest sporting event to Perth. In 25 days' time, Optus Stadium will host the event that's never supposed to leave Victoria, but Delta had other plans. But it's more than just one day. The Premier has promised a historic festival of football throughout September. At the end of the day, the AFL really had little choice. The biggest venue it could get in the safest state in the country. The Toyota AFL Grand Final will be played in Perth at Optus Stadium. It held off as long as it could, but with Victoria's COVID numbers going up and no prospect of having MCG crowds, it had to be done. It is, um, I think, painfully obvious that this is incredibly disappointing uh, for me, for all Victorian football fans, for the government. Uh, but that is, uh, unfortunately, the situation that sometimes this pandemic imposes upon us. It's only the second time the AFL Grand Final has been played outside Victoria. Brisbane was the choice last year with a maximum crowd of 30,000. Perth will put on an even bigger show. West Australian footy fans are as passionate as any in the country and the stadium in Perth with a capacity crowd of 60,000 in attendance will be an amazing spectacle. Under the circumstances that Perth has secured the grand final, our Premier was careful in his reaction. Happy, historic, exciting day for Western Australia, but of course tempered by the fact that our friends, relatives, brothers and sisters in Victoria are going through a hard time and we feel for them during this difficult period. The Premier said the government hasn't paid any money to the AFL but would pick up the cost of public transport. About 30 AFL operational staff will fly to Perth to complete quarantine. This is the biggest single day of sport in Australia's calendar and we're going to do it properly. And Perth's going to do it properly and we're going to lead in properly and that's the opportunity by playing in West Australia and that's what we'll do. The grand final brings with it a parade in the week prior and the coverage of the Brownlow medal will be hosted out of Perth. The AMA sees the grand final as a risk to public health and has called for social distancing, but it's rejected suggestions only vaccinated people should be allowed to attend. We just don't have access uh, to vaccines for everybody just now. Uh, people are still waiting, so you can't really mandate vaccination right now, today, for events until everyone's had fair access to the vaccines. We'll be able to hold this event in a COVID-safe way. Uh, we have all the protocols in place, all the rules in place, as we have for the last two years. And Jeff Parry joins us live from Optus Stadium. Jeff, the Premier seems pretty confident it's all going to go off as planned. Well, Sue, there's an old saying, a week is a long time in politics with COVID lurking around. Three and a bit weeks of the grand final is a bit like an eternity. But this is a golden opportunity to showcase our state. The seven network coverage of the grand final is watched by millions of people around Australia and around the world. Unfortunately, people just can't come here at the moment. Nevertheless, West Australians, wherever they are, will be able to participate in either the grand final uh, parades or the lunches or the grand final itself. You know, our government might not have been too keen to get the grand final last year, but they're embracing it now. Rick? Thank you, Jeff. It was inevitable the game wouldn't be played at the MCG as COVID cases rose across Victoria. So for weeks in the background, Perth has been preparing, patiently and respectfully waiting for the call-up. While the best ticket in town is watching on TV, there's no word yet on stadium sales. The ultimate call to arms for these empty seats. In the Optus Stadium underbelly, fridges, kegs and staff are preparing for the previously unimaginable to feed a grand final crowd. And one that will live long in the memory of people for this spectacle and the experience. Plans have been secretly underway for weeks. We've hosted big events before. The Commonwealth Games in the 60s, the America's Cup. This though, the ultimate. But with 25 days to go, there are still so many questions fans want answered. Entertainment hasn't been confirmed, nor ticket sales. The magic number of seats on sale will be 61,266, the most ever for a Perth AFL match. Expect the prices and when they go on sale to be announced after the weekend. This in a traditional AFL game at the MCG is probably a lot more tickets available for the general public to purchase. The festival of footy begins this Friday night. The Brownlow's been confirmed, albeit accidentally, for the Sunday of Grand Final Week. The City of Perth's helping plan a Grand Final parade. Bounce down won't be the traditional 2.30. 5.15's favoured for Perth's sunset and the East Coast prime time. 
The Canfield's rostering more than 100 staff to welcome 3,000 fans. It's a once in 100 years, maybe a once in forever opportunity for for not only um, hospitality, but the whole state. Hotel bookings skyrocketed at 1.30 today as Perth was locked in. You won't find a five-star city room anymore and remaining bookings won't be cheap. I think they'll see Perth never like they have before with the enthusiasm, the excitement of having the grand final here. There won't be a WA team playing, so here's a concept that may be hard to swallow. Adopt another. Pubs across Perth are, the Royal Hotel's turning black and teal. I might be a North Melbourne supporter, but you know, I'll jump on the port, port wagon for the, for the finals. Its head chef loves port power. We're going to deck the place out in the colours, you know, I'll have all the crew around here. I can't wait to sort of get on and, and watch the boys get into the grand final and hopefully take it out in Perth in a once in a lifetime gig. For doubters, the grand final's forecast to deliver tens of millions to the economy and a short term jobs boom for casuals. The best ones to go begging at Optus. Needing 2,000 staff on the day, guaranteeing access inside the job of a lifetime. The plea to back in teams comes with a call from pubs to get out and spend at a local venue in your suburb to help boost jobs. Pubs and hotels are expected to get a $10 million lift over grand final weekend. I can also confirm among the grand final week events, the hottest ticket in town will be a grand final breakfast with CEO, AFL CEO Gillan McLaughlin, along with football's biggest names, including legendary WA commentator Brian B.T. Taylor. Tickets for that will be $150. More on that in coming days. So, 